Corporate Habitat for Humanity, we're a nonprofit organization. Uh, we provide a service to the community in that we uh, uh, help homeowners, uh, we help build homes for low-income families. Uh, but part of how we generate revenue as an organization is we operate what we call a restore. So folks can come in and buy uh, either donated or purchased goods that we've purchased in the marketplace uh, for a very fair and reasonable price. And what we sell at our restore then goes and funds our operation in terms of building houses and helping homeowners. Like any other small business organization, you know, we took our cues pretty much from what the state was telling us to do. Uh, we had a very brief shutdown period here at Fort Bend Habitat for Humanity. Uh, but since then, honestly, things have kind of gotten back to as normal as normal can be. Um, luckily, we are deemed an in, in essential business of sorts, sort of like Home Depots and Lowe's would be. Um, you know, we provide a retail service to the community, a place where folks can come and get their discounted hardware goods and whatnot. So we have been open as a business since May 1st. I, I think just like everybody else, uh, you know, we've instituted a social distancing policy. So as you walk into the store, you'll see clearly marked areas of what six feet look like uh, on the floor. Um, it's all marked with tape on the ground, uh, you know, with the plexiglass countertops, uh, hand sanitizer throughout and also a, a very, very rigorous cleaning schedule by the staff as well. So every 30 minutes to an hour, uh, they're wiping things down, going into the bathroom and sanitizing. So we're making sure that everything on our floor is as clean as humanly possible. We started to kind of integrate people back into our projects very, very slowly. Um, I would say that we began our projects before the state of Texas as a whole decided to reopen at their 25, 50%. Uh, capacity. So we did uh, continue a few projects. We did have a few going since January. Uh, we did have a new house that was under construction. So by the time we shut down in March, I would say they were just trying to finish up the exterior of the home. Um, and then since then, obviously, uh, as we've gotten back into our projects, uh, things are progressing along a lot more smoothly now. But even still, uh, we don't have as large a, a number of volunteers as we do on site. We try to take precautions to make sure we limit the amount of exposure uh, that, we're, that we're having within a, a small confined space like a home project. Uh, our repair projects, we still do quite a few throughout the month. Uh, but again, we're trying to limit the amount of contact that we have with volunteers on site and whatnot. So we tend to, to maybe draw our projects out a little bit longer still provide great volunteer experiences, but we just, we don't have 30 or 40 on one side at any given time. I, I mean, in all honesty, you know, we're just extremely thankful for the community and the way they've supported us. Um, you know, Fort Bend Habitat, we've been around for 20 plus years now in this community. Uh, we just underwent our, our gala season. We underwent a, a huge move from our Stafford location out here to Sugarland. Um, and I just, again, I'm, I'm extremely thankful for folks that, that come in, that shop, that donate, uh, that utilize Fort Bend Habitat for Humanity and its programs. Um, this is really just a great community and we're very thankful to be a part of it.